ladies and gentlemen, Maria Bamford. Hello. Uh, and like many of my uh, fellow Americans, I really want to help people uh, while being televised. And uh, I would like to do a show that would really help people, you know, go to an area of the world like, you know, we're here in sub-Saharan Africa because people sometimes have to walk tens of hundreds of miles for food, water, and basic medical care. And that's why we've chosen this village for an extreme makeover. <laughs> Tell me, Mobutu, how does life feel as a blonde? Well, my husband doesn't even recognize me. And now when I fight other women for flour off the aid truck, I feel more confident. Uh, my mom is uh, very religious. She is actually one of those people, she has a bracelet that says WWJD, what would Jesus do? Uh, she's uh, very religious, also very pro-war because that's what Jesus would do. Smoke them out of their holes like the gentle carpenter. Oh, he only turns the other cheek to grab another can of whoop ass. <laughs> Every time I pray, I feel like I'm just doing this really bad ventriloquist act, you know, like, so God, yes! How am I doing in life if I do it okay? Well, good, because sometimes I feel scared, you know, fear the wrath of God and all that. Uh, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to the dark side. <laughs> okay, that's not God. That's Return of the Jedi. <laughs> oh, God, you're so crazy. You're such a silly goose. You're a goose and you're silly. That's what I love. No, I believe in God. I just believe God is a 13-story tall wizard who lives in a dark mountain and never lets me win. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Try it. Um, so uh, I've seen a lot of scary things in my 33 years, but there's still nothing more paralyzing and suspenseful than a non sequitur left on my answering machine by my mother. Hey, kid, it's your mom. Listen, your father slapped your Uncle Phil on the back. It turns out Bill had this huge, sebaceous cyst, and it just went splat. And there was kind of this cottage cheesy stuff going everywhere. And I am sending you an article on Lucille Ball. <laughs> How does that go together, mummy? I think as you get older, maybe nothing's particularly good or bad anymore. It's all really just one long, sweet ride to the finish. <laughs> hey, kid, guess who I saw at the drugstore? Patty Stuff, and like your fifth grade teacher. She looks great. She's in her 60s now. She was there with her life partner, Gretchen, and Patty just had a hysterectomy, so she's been having some dryness. And they were there to pick up some lubricant, which is interesting, because I didn't think in that kind of relationship you'd really have a lot of penetration. And I want to know when you're coming to visit. Not anytime soon, Mother. Not anytime soon. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.